Hey guys, this is the Penny Pinching Prepper here, and welcome to my channel. If you like what you see, consider giving a thumbs up or subscribing to the channel. That would be awesome. Today we're going to be making a ferro rod handle. Um, one that collapses, has a really good grip, gets small, and is able to attach to your, your belt. Or other things like uh, your backpack onto your uh, molly well-being stuff like that um, I don't have one to show you because the only one I ever made I gave to farmer son prepping awesome channel if you haven't seen it go check it out um, and maybe you have seen his channel and seen it on his channel but what you're going to need for this all right, there are quite a few things, and it's going to seem like it's a little overwhelming, but honestly, this is actually a pretty super simple project. All right, so far as tools go, you're going to need a heat gun or a very hot, hot uh, blow dryer. Um, that might work, but you're going to need a heat gun, all right? You're going to need a half inch drill bit. Now mine's already been worked for this project. Um, so that the half inch drill bit is sitting inside of that tube for a reason. All right. You're going to need a flathead screwdriver. All right. You're going to need. Oh, that's it for tools. And then for supplies. You're going to need some stainless steel uh, snare wire or jewelry wire or something, you know, um, for this project. You're going to need some Gorilla Tape, preferably. Any hundred mile an hour tape will work, but preferably Gorilla Tape. All right. You're going to need one five inch by half inch ferrocenium rod. Uh, this one's a six inch. I'm just gonna cut it down. I, I have quite a few of these six inches and I'm out of five inches. So five inch by half inch ferrocenium rod. All right. And then you're gonna need some half inch by 18 um, I'm not exactly sure what kind of piping this is but I, I usually find it in the plumbing section all right and it's going to be threaded at both ends okay you're going to need a minimum of six inches now if you want to make your life super easy and make one of these get yourself um, you know get yourself a foot or more uh, without this your your life might suck to get it just perfect um, so once again this is a half inch by 18 all right you're gonna need some gel super glue you're gonna need a one inch aluminum I believe they're called sexting screws haha -ha, I know funny right but but basically what it is, is it's smooth on one side and round. And then you've got the, like a pipe almost. And if you look at the end there, it's actually got a hole and it's threaded. And this side has a, a flat head and threads and it screws in. So that has to be one inch. Has to be one inch. Okay. So, then you're going to need a, uh, this is a half inch, 
uh, half inch cap. All right. It's rounded on top. All right. Make sure you get one of those rounded ones. You really need it. All right. They have flat ones. You don't want that. You want the rounded ones. All right. And they screw right on to the end here. All right. So they need to fit together and it needs to be rounded. And then you'll need some high temp JB Weld putty. Now the reason it has to be high temp, it has nothing to do with the ferrocenium rod whatsoever. This stuff stays pliable much longer than the rest of the stuff. Most of the other stuff stays pliable uh, for maybe around a minute. This stuff will go five to eight minutes and you, you really need time to work it like putty and, and shape it so that time really matters all right so uh make sure you get the high heat it's it's more expensive but if you don't you, you're not going to succeed in this project trust me <laughs> trust me all right you're gonna need some paracord um i'm going with survival cord but any old paracord will do all right and this is kind of a strange one guys and uh, the stuff's hard to find unless you go on Amazon. But this is one and a half inch shrink wrap. Red. Now reason being is because it's high vis. Alright. And uh, we're going to put shrink wrap around this to make it to where it doesn't hurt your hand when you're screwing it on and off. This, this adds cushion. And um, it makes it high vis, so if you drop the the cap, it's easily find findable. Or if you drop the whole thing, there's at least some sort of color on it to be able to find it. So um, that's one and a half inch shrink wrap, all right? And uh, some sort of a measuring tool, a ruler, a measuring tape, whatever, and. Uh, when we put this all together, it'll be really cool. Yeah, I'll have about four and a half inches of ferrocenium rod with a full grip um, handle. And, uh, oh, gosh, that's the one thing I forgot. You're gonna need a striker. I highly recommend the, um, uh, hold on one second. So I highly recommend the, uh, the, the Baolite strikers. Um, I've talked about why I like a certain type of striker and this fits that to a T. You've got all flat sides, no ridge. It's nice thick steel. It's sharpenable. Um, they'll last a long time. And these ones are actually pretty, pretty comfortable when you're using them, when you get a grip on them. So, uh, I recommend those. And the other thing is, is they got a plastic handle so it won't cut through the paracord. Don't want to be cutting through the paracord. And the only other thing I can recommend is when you're getting your ferrocenium rod, make sure that it has a hole in it. Okay. It does not have to fit this. Um, we can always, in fact, we do have to drill it out. So we're going to need drill bits too. Uh, metal drill bits. Um, I'm sure you could use wood drill bits, but it might not be too good afterwards. Uh, so some drill bits and a drill. Didn't take bring them out, but I forgot them till just now. You're gonna need some drill bits, preferably metal, and a drill. Uh, so once these are all combined, you'll have, like I said, a, a, a collapsible. Because this is going to fit into here. Everything's going to combine. You're going to be able to um, bring it out. You'll have four inches of a very stout, uh, grippable handle. All right. Good length of strike. I mean, they're very comfortable. They're very comfortable. I, I've made different types, but this is the only one I've ever made collapsible. And I thought I'd share that one with you because it's actually, believe it or not, the easiest one I make. Um, <laughs> so.
So if you guys are interested in having a ferrocerium rod that you can wear on your hip, swing on your bag, that's collapsible, will last a long time, and uh, without a doubt, and no matter how wet, rainy, cold, hot, whatever it is, you're going to be able to hold that ferrocerium rod without it slipping out of your hand or fumbling or even just fumbling around to where, you know, you're not keeps wanting to slip out of your hand every time you strike it get these items and uh without a doubt uh you'll enjoy what we end up putting together so get these all in view so you can see them just in case i'm not that great at talking which most of the time i'm not I try though so there is everything you need minus the drill and the drill bit well we got this one for half of it oh this is what makes it so easy guys if you do this is because you can actually screw the cap on when making one of these and when you go to drill it it will drill perfectly center through the the cap <clears throat> and uh that's actually a pretty thick cap believe it or not um because of the roundedness of it and that's part of what makes it super sturdy when you're using it without any play or wiggle is how thick that cap is so uh i can't really think of anything else off the top of my head um that should be everything so i look forward to doing this project with you guys and um hopefully you are excited about putting one together because if you know Farmer's Son, go ask them. They're awesome. Have a wonderful day, and remember, God's good, and God bless. Oh, gosh, I'm always forgetting something, ain't I? Leave any comments below if you have any questions, or uh, reach me at pennypinchingprepper77 at gmail.com. Uh, always look forward to helping in any way I can, so please... Don't uh, hesitate to ask. Um, talk at you later.